The Revolving Art Incubator plays host to contemporary artist May Okafor and her exciting works of art and installations which discuss national issues in a rather unique concept. It talks about the infiltration of foreign goods and services into Nigeria, into homes, into offices, into every aspect of our lives. You know, we buy a lot of imports, we eat these things, we, we, we process these things and, you know, by processing I mean some of them are like foodstuffs. In her solo exhibition titled Consumates and Cannibalism, this artist looks at the consumer culture of Nigeria and how little things like toothpicks are purchased from beyond the shores. We have bamboos all over the bushes, but down to toothpicks made of bamboos, we're importing them from China. Down to cotton board for your ear, we're importing them for what? So my project generally is um, talking about the fact that these importations are eating us up. We have to rethink, we have to check it. We should in fact look beyond the government. I discovered that in the Nigerian market, um, the apple is like the commonest fruit. You find that you walk into an average shopping mall, into an average food store, and discover that the major fruit there, apples, pears, and the rest. When you get to the park, you get into a boat, and you want to buy fruit, the first fruit that passes you by is apple. You know, so I discover that um, these things being imported and they are common like this, it became something of worry to me and I began wondering like what will become of our future if we just keep importing those things, if we just keep importing almost everything. Now it's not just about the apple, the apple is only a metaphor. With these works of art, she creates a platform for national discourse. Wondering why a nation richly blessed with human and natural resources can be so needy of foreign goods. A lot of services in Nigeria are imported. These days people build houses and the masons are even imported down to the masons, down to the tiler, down to the roofers. You know, so to me it's a thing of concern and the material I am working with um, particularly is um, apple crates. The crates from apples, you know, it is marveling how these crates come in quantums because they come with these apples that they that themselves come in quantum. So in our dustbins, you discover a lot of crates there, and they are waste. They are made of styrofoam. These things are difficult to dispose. They are non-biodegradable. So they are we are endangering our ecosystem. Our eco waste is piling up because of imports. Why can't we be loud and proud of our own? That's just one of the many questions that plague this artist's mind. We, as a nation, should find a way to produce of our own. And that is part of why I have brought the ceramics as part of the exhibition, you know. To me, um, I'm trying to give hope, like, there are, some, there are many natural resources that we haven't even explored. Okay, now we are importing apples. What has happened to our farming skills, our local apples, the Odara, as Zebo would call it, the oranges, why are they not too common? The purple, the watermelon, what has happened to all of them? Why is the apple the commonest and yet imported? You know, so I think we should look back as a nation and um, know what we can do for ourselves, know what we can multiply, know what we can exploit. We must not always import and import, you know, when you think of it as a family, to be clearer, imagine a family that doesn't earn money, but then keeps eating, keeps buying things, keeps spending money from the reserve. What's going to happen in the near future? A lot goes into the production of each piece, time and precision plus. The materials are also key in putting everything together. Part of the works are cowries, you see forms that look like cowries. You know, I'm trying to get down to our roots. You know, cowries were a means of exchange at the you know, earlier, early years of Nigeria as a nation. It was a means of exchange which you could go to the market, you give cowrie, you take something that you want. You know, just like money, just like every other money, you know. So, um, I've tried to use clay, which is a natural material, to create, as I'm trying to relate it back to our money, let us find our roots. 
maybe that can help us back around the 1970s nigeria was the number one producer of cocoa in the whole world number one but today we are struggling with being number seven and being number eight what has happened has our lands decreased has our farming skills vanished what has happened one of the things that bothers everyone is the issue of our economic situation and she's managed to use this exhibit to reflect on that uh, without being overbearing but at the same time touching on that issue of us to look at how we need to go back to local uh, content you know we need to start to patronize local goods we need to start to uh, think about how to develop our industries locally uh, we need to start to support uh, people you know uh, producing things within the country. When you step back, one can better appreciate what she's trying to create. There are different aspects of his craft that tells different stories from what you see on the, on the rails of the net to what you see on the wall that combine to tell the story of how the artist feel and the type of material that he uses to bring his idea to life. This unassuming artist shows that big things really do come in small packages as viewers are amazed to see what runs through her mind. But those who have followed her closely are really not surprised. May's work is different, you know, first of all, because she uses uh, a very interesting material, which is uh, apple crates. Uh, what you would typically uh, get from styrofoam, or what you call styrofoam or polystyrene. And uh, she's transformed this into an aesthetic that is also using as a metaphor to speak about uh, ongoing issues within the country. And one of it is this issue of infiltration of foreign goods uh, in the Nigerian market. And she has done this beautifully well in this exhibit. Um, she's managed uh, to convert uh, this apple crate into something that is aesthetically appealing uh, but at the same time she's uh, also using this as a means for us to actually reflect on the ongoing situation with our economy in Nigeria. This graduate of the Department of Fine and Applied Arts of the University of Nigeria Unsuka is a ceramist by training and obtained her Bachelor of Arts degree and Masters in 2010 and 2014 respectively but she's evolved from the training she received in school and become her own woman, finding her voice through this medium. May Okafo has participated in numerous exhibitions with many awards to her credit. She's also willing to share her knowledge and experience as she currently lectures at the University of Nigeria, Unsuka. The revolving art incubator intends to create the right atmosphere for artists to express themselves and toy with new ideas. They give viewers a taste of it in May Okafo's exhibition. Yeah, 